immensely for your support towards our church building project. The CWO sends their greetings. Thank you, Father. Father, I am looking for a good Christian that will be living with me. My former house help stole all my jewelries and money and ran away. That is why I have come to the church to look for a good girl that everyone can attest to. I'll pay her very well. This is so cool here. Well, uh, we have a girl in this parish. She stays in the sister's lodge. The young lady wants to acquire university education. So I don't know if you will be able to send her to school. Father, I'll send her to school if that's what she wants. Wow, thank you so much. <laughs> Father, I should be the one thanking you. That's why we pray for people like you. May the good Lord bless you. Father, I have to take my leave. I'm off to her friends. Okay. Make sure you mop and clean the house thoroughly. I will, ma. Before I come back, okay? Yes, ma. Have a nice day, ma. I told you, you are singing, you just have to sit quiet. When we need someone to rap with people, then you come in. Okay, okay so let's I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. You know that I need you, guys. Now let me come with the rap, you know. What's up, man? I'm coming this time, you know. What's up, man? Hello? Ah, uh, yeah, wait, what's up, sir? Oh, you're in my house. Okay, uh, um, I'll be there in a minute, all right? Yes, I'll be there in a minute. No, what you have to do is just to look for somewhere and wait for me. Okay. Okay, all right. Don't tell me you are serious about going home. Yeah, I have to go home. My girl is waiting for me in the house. You can't be serious. We're performing in a big event tonight and here you are going home to meet some girl. God damn it. God damn what? The last time I checked, I'm the leader of this group and I'm still the leader of this group. So? Okay? What you guys need to do, you have to rehearse without me. The, the short time, I know what to do. I know where to come in and I know where to leave. Bro, you need to wait. We need the money first. You need what money? Guys, we need the money. Guys, see, you calm down. We can't do it on one what? person. Listen, listen, guys, we got no time. Bro. I, I don't just like it when Peter asks not to laugh. See, when we hit understand that it is business before pleasure. See, when? Man, see money on my mind. You can listen. I was trying to say hi to you, but I didn't hear you. I'm sure I didn't see you at all. Hmm. Anyway, when are you going to school for your registration? Uh, maybe um, a day after tomorrow. Me? 
going back tomorrow, I can't wait to get out of that bondage I call my house. Hey, Kiki. What bondage are you talking about? Don't be silly. Sonia, you know I hate it when people lord over my life. My parents, they seem to be controlling my every move and I don't like it. Kiki, they are there to guide you. Parents. You know they cannot lead you astray. Everything they are doing is for your own good, so you have to stop this thing you're saying. Um, when are you going to be a legal work? Region waiting. I beg, I beg, I pass that level. I just got admission into the institution. Do you expect me? To be walking up and down, preaching for the or praying for the sick and going to the orphanage to clean and all sort of that. I cannot do that anymore there. Kiki, what's wrong with that? What's what's wrong with that? Please, Sonia. I don't You're going to... astray. You're going astray. Babes, I'm not cross out for all this you're preaching right now. I've decided to use the time made for my regional work to go chill out with my friends. Anyway, let me get going before my parents fetch me here. I'll see you later there. It's okay, but you, you have care. to think about what you're about don't to do. Worry. You are going astray, and if I don't tell you, my mind will not allow me. I'll see you later there. Take care. It's all right. Bye bye. Hallelujah. They're coming. Good day, Father. Oh, Safira, how are you? I'm fine, Father. Father, I went to your office to look for you, but the parish secretary said you're here. That's why I killed you. Oh, I just finished having a meeting with the parish priest. I just decided to rest here. Okay, Father, maybe I should go and rest here. No, 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 no. Come, sit. You can talk here. How are you, Safira? Father, you must fight. Mrs. Okoye treats me so cruelly. Is it because my parents are no more? Don't worry. Wipe your tears. I will make out time to go and see her. Yes, I beg you. Don't tell her I told you anything. She'll kill me. Please, Father, please. Don't worry, I know what to do. Okay? Thank you, Father. Father, please. I, I have to start going. I'm actually supposed to go to the market. May the peace of the Lord be with you and keep you through these trying times. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Lord is Thank you, Go well, my daughter. Can you imagine that, Richard? He's starting out because we did some of our assignment. I thought I'm the only one that noticed this. I don't know why. I don't even understand anything in that topic. How are we going to do that assignment? I think we should ask for Please don't you go there. Well, like that sister tell you that maybe we are done with ourselves, we don't know anything. I'm not cool with that, I bet. So what are you going to do? I'll go buy you one for you. Look at that one. What's the thing that left, I bet? I don't want to have any. I bet the bitch can't carry over there. Just for her to go and buy something, she's got her back. Okay, she'll come here and meet me.
Cast all your burdens upon the Lord, for he cares for you. You again? What do you want? The joy of the Lord is your strength. But what do you want from me? Do not dwell on the past. Keep moving, looking unto God, who is the author and the finisher of your faith. Hi, baby. Hello? Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You mean you're coming in tomorrow and you didn't tell me? <laughs> Mom, you're just telling me. Okay, okay, Mom. Yeah, I'll wait and I'll be expecting you tomorrow. Okay, mom. All right. See you then. All right, mom. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> wow. Baby. Yeah. Was that your mom on the line? Oh, yes, my mom. <laughs> wow. So she'll be coming back from the US tomorrow. Yeah, she's coming in tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow <laughs> night. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Yeah. That means I'll get to prepare something spectacular for her. I mean, I finally get to meet her. <laughs> That's so cool. For what? <laughs> What's the meaning of that? I don't get. Peter. Don't you want to take our relationship to the next level? What next level are you talking about? What next level? Huh? Can me come on? Snap out of this, your reverie. What are you talking about? Wait. Are you trying to say? I've been wasting my time with you all this while. Kevin, why are you acting up? Oh! I'm acting up. You're acting up, seriously. I'm you acting are. up you're now. Acting up. You're such a punk. You know what? I'm out of here. Okay. At home. Alright, let's go. Get lost. <laughs> Exactly what I have been looking for. A way to get her out of my life. And look at how she just made everything so easy. She packed her things herself and everything and left my life. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to sit down again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 young no. man, young man, young man! Stop, 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 stop! Now you start now! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay! You people should stop fighting! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay! No, no, on it's okay, we are one body in the Holy Eucharist! God asks us to love ourselves. You people should learn to love yourselves. Be your brother's keeper. Right, now, good of you. Embrace yourself. Embrace yourself. Look, I don't want to see you people fight again in the public. It's okay. Thank you, sir.
Hello, dear. How are you? Fine, thank you. You're welcome back. Thank you. How was the trip to the US? Fine, fine. Make yourself comfortable. Mm -hmm. I hope you brought some goodies for me. Of course, I did. Mm -hmm. You know, I Good. will never forget that. <laughs> Although, I had an extra luggage. Okay. And my son is going to pick it up from the airport tomorrow. So as soon as it arrives, I will bring it over. Fine! <laughs> <laughs> You're looking good. Oh, you too. You're looking very smashing. Thank you. <laughs> so, so how's work? Fine. Oh, you're back to the country <laughs> to meet Jay. Not finding it easy at all. No, no one has been finding oh it easy gosh. at all. I don't know how you guys have been coping. Well, we're managing. <laughs> it's not easy. I know. You look good, girl. Thank you. You know I always do. <laughs> it's good to have you back, though. Thank you, sister. So how are you doing, sister? I'm fine, Father. Thank you very much. And you? I'm very great. Um, what can I offer you? Um, maybe a glass of water. Excuse me, Father. Okay. Safira, well, leave whatever you're doing. Quickly go and have a bath and change into your church clothes. And come to the living room for the lanky's here. And make sure you don't tell him I treat you bad. Otherwise, I'll throw you out of this house. Go! So worried to interrogate this girl. What is so special about her? What's so special about this girl? The 
girl is not even my level, just a common house girl. I am so happy. I have good news for you. My daughter in the UK just called me and told me she passed her degree exams in fine colors. Wow, that's good news. <laughs> oh. Thank, God. Thank God. Please help me congratulate her for me. Thank you very much, Father. I will do that. Um, I want to come for Thanksgiving this Sunday. I'm grateful to God for all he has done. You know what happened? I kept on booking masses during and while she was taking her exams. And I'm so glad God answered. You see, you see, that's why our Holy Mother intercedes for us. And that's why your blessings are overflowing. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Father, I actually came to find out what the church is lacking presently. So that I can get some of them um, when I come for Thanksgiving. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you, Mrs. <laughs> Sokui. <laughs> I wish we could have people like you every day. Thank you, Father. Um, you can buy the lectionary or the Roman missiles. You can also buy our special vessels for mass celebration. Those are the basic things we need on ground now. Because we are plotting our new outstations in different houses. Okay, Father. Yeah. Okay, do that. <laughs> Thank you so much. We appreciate it. <sighs> and we'll keep praying for you. Amen. May the blessing of the Almighty God be with you. Amen. Thank you very much, Father. going on a trip to the UK tomorrow okay. and I want you to take care of the house while I'm away. Yes, ma I'll be away for two weeks. Okay. Understood? Yes ma'am. I will. That's all. How are you, Sakura? Is it? Father, I'm not fine. I told you what I've been going through in the hands of my auntie. You know I've been suffering. But you were busy praising her about how good she has been to me. But you know that's not the true situation, Father. What was I supposed to do? I mean, tell her that you told me that she's maltreating you? No, no, Father. Ah, Father, that will be my end. 
Safira, I've spoken to your auntie. I know she's not treating you rightly, but don't worry, she will change. Remember what the word of the Lord says, that the heart of a king is in his hand. All I want you to do is keep praying and I will put you in prayer, okay? Father, thank you for your advice. But, Father, it's difficult. Sometimes it's, it's just too difficult to be a... The darkest part of the night, all showers in the morning. Your pains and sorrow will soon come to an end. Only if you can stand firm, okay? Okay, Father. Thank you very much, Father. Okay. I have to be on my way now. May the peace of the Lord be with you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Hi, so, uh, where are you coming from and where are you going to? Okay, I'm coming from the market. Okay. I'm going back to the house. To the house? Okay, alright, that's good. Cool. What have you, uh, are you doing in This is right, this is my vicinity. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah, um, I stay at uh, Kingsley's Avenue. That's Loris's Clothes. Oh, okay, I know Loris's Clothes. <laughs> yeah, number that's seven. That's where my auntie's um, designer stays. Yeah, we have two loves there. Yes, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's good. So why don't you just come, let me show you my house. Uh, no, no, not today. I'm actually on my way to the house. I'm in a hurry. You're always in a hurry. Always in a hurry. Huh? <clears throat> just come, let me just show you the place. You know your auntie do not allow you to go out all the time. And this is just the best time for you to know where I stay. Hey. Huh? Um, okay. Maybe tomorrow or next or after. I'll find next time I'll come and Okay, see. okay. What's up? Uh, fine, ma. Hi. <laughs> wow. This <laughs> might be the beautiful damsel. Has been giving my friend her sleepless nights. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Kofi. Safira. Yeah, Kofi. Wow, Safira. <laughs> yeah, that's her name. What a beautiful name. Thank you. Um, please, let me be going. Am I the one chasing you? No, no, no. <laughs> I am on my way. I don't want a guy to come. <laughs> man, <do. laughs> I'm beginning to develop feelings for this guy. I think Peter loves me. The way he talks to me, I can see it in his eyes. What makes you think it's actually love? You again? What's your mission in my life? Sometimes we are too blinded to see the truth. I don't understand. Do not let your emotions control you. Safira, do not let your emotions control you. 
if you do not control your emotions it's called ruin you what do you mean why is it that whenever we are having a meaningful conversation you just disappear and cut the conversation short what's your mission in my life He's much, man. Let's do it again. I like it. Do that again. Do that again. I like that I like that key. I like yeah. it. I like that. <laughs> Now, just, just, just listen to it again. Mary Gary! We are done! That's it, that's it! Check it again. Let's go again. Let's go again. Okay, let's go again. Okay. What's up? Huh? Get up first. Okay. Ah. Good. So you are arranging your house. Are you expecting anyone? Yes, I am. Um, Safira is coming. Oh, Safira! Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's coming today. Is she coming today? Yeah, she is. Hmm. That girl really look good and decent. Very good. But okay. I don't, don't want to play game. Okay, game shooter. No, not at all. You know that girl is different from every other girl. And I think I want to get really serious with her. Trust me. Wait, wait, let me say something. <laughs> you say you're in love? I'm in love with her. Man, stop deceiving yourself. Everyone knows that you can't fall in love. Ah, coffee, yeah. Coffee. See, I want to tell you something about this girl, okay? okay. She's different from every other girl that I have seen. I think there is something very special about her. So okay. I'm not going to joke with her. I truly love her. And <laughs> I think I am in love with her. Nothing is going to change it. Are you serious? <laughs> so by what time is she coming? Um, anytime soon. So I just want to keep everywhere clean, tidy. You know now, so you don't carry your titty. So because of this Safira girl, now we have to suspend our rehearsal. Guy, we're going to start this thing tomorrow, OK? And you know, the more time I spend with her, inspiration. She's, she's an inspiration to me now. <laughs> no, she is, trust me. You see, all these words I'm getting and all these things I'm getting is a little time I spend with her. So you can imagine if I spend the whole night or two nights or three or nights or four nights or five nights. More inspiration. <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah, guy, guy, guy. What? That show was a bomb. For real? You, you need to feel my soul. That, yeah. that show was a fucking bomb. You can see, imagine how many things they have. I swear, if this record label sign us, Mom, we don't blow the dust. I had to talk all this thing with you now. Man. Because I am John, and I, I can do my own <laughs> shit. Man, chill. Could you imagine how female fans were jumping on Peter like as if they are monkey clamping trees? They're gonna find but without pimple, no talk, no stand. No, no yeah, stand. No. You don't understand. You don't feel me now, nothing. But still, nothing. Man, I'm about for real. For real. Nigga, so you know, nigga, so you know, nigga, so I later things there. There's one track I have. I'm going for good. I'm going later. I'm later. I'm giving another track. It's always your way now, for sure. You 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 will have to go. You know, I think by now one girl must have been waiting for you at home. Yeah, for real. No, 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 no girl is waiting for me. I just have to go home. Really? I know it's someone might be at home waiting for you. And I hope it's not the girl that kept you waiting the whole day. Wait, wait, wait. 
wait, wait, like seriously, wait. So you mean a girl kept a whole Peter waiting? For real. Fine boy without pimple. Yeah. A mega superstar in the making. Hey bro, what's up with you now? What's going with you? They get kept him within the house. Brother, easy, man. Easy, easy. Let me, let me take my stuff. We are not fighting. No, bro, bro, like seriously, are you feeling fine? Man, sometimes I begin to wonder whether they bury this guy at Placenta for woman. No, what? What kind of? No, guy, 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 I'm not giving on track now. I'm giving on track now. You know that track, yeah? You feel me? 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 Forget Peter, I won't give you on track now. Listen, you know that track, what I support. You know, um, um, you know how to say go now. And I know that girl she's the good nigga. And she's messing with the broke nigga. Yeah. And that girl she's the good nigga. Things are not going according to plan. This is not the plan. This is not how yes, it is. It's me. Is it Safira. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome. Thank you. So, um, make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Yeah. yeah just sit down. Yeah. Um. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> you. You have a very beautiful place. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. So, um, what do I offer you? Uh, nothing. <laughs> I only came to fulfill my promise. Ah, uh, well, you can come to my house for the first time and you don't get to take something. At least anything. Uh, okay, water. Water. You're right. Okay. okay. Alright, just make yourself comfortable, okay? Said water. Ah, uh, yeah. This is <laughs> this is the water I have in my house. Let me serve you. Yeah? Okay. Right. Oh, should I? Tell me a little about you. Um, well, there is nothing much about me. It's just that I am an unlucky girl. So tell me, uh, Mrs. Okoye, are you guys related? Are you related to her? No, no, I'm not related to her. I have only one relative, my uncle. But the man is very diabolical, so I decided not to stay with him. Mm -hmm. It was the Reverend Father that brought me to stay with Mrs. Okoye. That's good. That's good. So, and then, um, how is she treating you? I am afraid. Not good. Mm -hmm. She practically turned me into her slave. She's so mean to me, so wicked towards me. I don't know. I, it just makes me miss my parents so much. Mm -hmm. But it's fine. I don't really have a choice. I'll be it. So, the treatment, have you reported to the railway father? Have you told him anything about how treatment is? Yes, you? yes. As a matter of fact, he came to visit not too long ago. I think he spoke to her because since that day that he came, her wickedness reduced a little. Just a little bit. But it's okay, it's fine. At least I have a roof over my head. That's very important to me. It's okay. It's okay, everything is going to be fine. Okay? Thank you. God will definitely see you through. Thank you. Amen. 
Do you need something else that is anything to play no, with? No, this is even too much. <laughs> Thank you. Hope it's not too sweet for you. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, you soon get used to it. <laughs> the more you come here, the more you drink all these things. Huh? <laughs> you freshen up a little bit. Huh? Drink on. <laughs> you need something else? No. You're okay. This is my bedroom. Oh. Cool. Yeah. It's a nice place. Do you stay in this house alone? Um, yes, I stay alone, but you see, my mom comes in from the years time to time. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So why not make yourself comfortable? You know, sit down while I play some music for uh, you. <laughs> uh, um, no, I actually want to get going. Okay. Um, I want you to do me a favor. For leaving. Favor. Yes, you see, I have everything in the kitchen. I have um, every food stuff that you want. I have it in the kitchen. So I want you to prepare me a meal before you leave. <laughs> you know, your last jello of rice I ate in your house was very nice. So with that, I can say you are a good cook. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, no problem. I'll cook for you. But as soon as I'm done, I'll, I'll leave. Is that a deal? Deal. <laughs> okay, no problem. I'm sure you're the kitchen. Alright. Don't worry, don't, don't just do it for you. Sorry. Sorry. No, not that one. The, 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 the eye. Can you help me blow it? Please. Okay. Yeah, I'll think something. I've been talking for months now, and I now know that I'm deeply in love with you. I love you so much. But, but what do you see in me? I'm only a house now. I know, Zafira. I know. You see, sometimes the heart sees what is invisible to the eyes. Please, please, I, I have to start going. Um, without fulfilling your promise. You cannot leave the food, you know, uncooked like this. <laughs> oh, okay, if I have to finish the cooking, then I have to do it alone. You just have to excuse me, please.
Hello, pretty lady. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. And where are you going to? Um, I was just taking a stroll. I'm on my way back to the house now. To the house? What are you going to do in the house? So if you don't have anything um, important to do at home, why don't you just accompany me to my house? Let's spend today together. Your house? Yeah, my house. <laughs> Please. Is this um, some kind of feedback you're asking for me from? Or? No, it's just a request. Please. <sighs> okay, no problem. I'll spend a little time, then I'll go back to my own house. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. what's the problem? But that's not possible. With the way you were caged in the house. My auntie traveled. And she's supposed to come back the day after tomorrow. Father, I, I misused the freedom that was given to me. There's this, um, there's this girl I really like. I think I'm in love with the girl. And she gives me sleepless nights. And I think I'm falling deeply for her. Why don't you just tell her? You know, she might just feel the same way for you. You never know. Well, I tried. I tried. You see, the last time I, you know, I told her, she almost left my house. <laughs> and she was preparing something for me. But she almost left the food uncooked. I had to beg her. <sighs> you know, it wasn't my ear you whispered to. Was on my lips that you kissed. It was my soul you kissed. Peter, I feel the same way about you. But I'm not just ready. I, I don't want to have a new relationship yet. Are you trying to say you don't love me? I do, but no, no buts, right? No buts. Okay, so tell me, you're still a virgin, and probably you're wishing you keep the virginity until, right? Those rumors are heartless. How could it do that to you? I feel so terrible. 
so, so terrible knowing that I was deflowered by armed robbers. Armed robbers disverging me. Ah. I left the house that night with so much agony. My heart was filled with so much sorrow. All I could remember was that I saw myself in the hospital. It must have been a very difficult experience for you. So how did you find yourself in the hospital? I was told that I, I fainted right in front of the church. So a priest took me to the hospital. Safira and Holy Spirit do not dwell in the foul bodies. I know, Father. I feel so empty. I feel terrible. I'm so ashamed of myself. <laughs> the most important thing is for you to feel sorry about your sin and repent of it. Our God is holy and cannot be held in iniquity. Safira, ask God to give you the grace to live a holy life. Okay, Father. The word of the Lord says, do not be equally yoked with unbelievers. If you have any friend that is misleading you, that is picking you away from the direction of God. I want you to call them up, okay? Yes, sir. It is well with you. Amen. Let me pray with you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> yes, I'm back. I go back three days ago with my mom. Yeah. Tomorrow? No, no, tomorrow. No. Um, I'll be free next tomorrow. Yes. Yes. Sure. Next tomorrow, it's fine. I'll be very free. Do you used to stay at that same place? Okay. Okay. All right. No problem then. Next tomorrow then.
Did you work? Oh, it was okay. It was cool. Ah, I saw your babe do that on the way. Okay. Man, you needed to see the way she was walking very fast. <laughs> she even passed me without noticing me. Yeah, she's always like that. She's always like that. You know, she's always in a hurry because of her madam. Always. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's like that woman doesn't give her breathing space. She doesn't. She doesn't give her any space at all. She barely doesn't see her. at all. Yeah, I barely see her. Uh, she stopped talking to me. You know. Why? <laughs> because I went into it with her, you know. I just couldn't hold myself. I had to do it. <laughs> it's, uh, I hope you didn't force her. No, I didn't force her. I didn't know how would I do such a thing. I did it. I just I I I not I not force her. You know, I only took advantage of her weakness. Peter. <laughs> See, when will you understand that love is not all about sex? When? And who's talking about love here? You said you love her. See, let me tell you, I told her everything I told her and I made all the promises I made to her because I wanted to get to her promised land, which I did. And after that, you know, I have to call the quit, though it was very sweet and nice. <laughs> I don't wish I could do it over and over again, you know, like three, four, five times. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> you knew it? <laughs> yeah. You will never change, guy. I doubt if you ever fall in love in your life. No. And who's talking about love here? Yeah. I don't know what is the meaning of love. <laughs> oh, I've never seen um, such a word in my dictionary before. I won't lie to you. I've searched all over, back and front. I've not seen anything like love in a dictionary. What was the meaning of love? <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Just do your beer. But trust me, that girl was really tight. But I just found one very sweet, you know, round. Another person apart from that girl. But you need to see this one. Very busty. <laughs> oh, shit. There was not. No, Guy, you, what you, you want to see this life, one. Sir. If you see this one, you will appreciate.
of suffering, pain and shame, a life of so much to lose and almost nothing to gain, hard to understand, things are not going according to Okay, the goods are available. I'll come pick them up pretty soon. Thank you. Bye. Ah, Peter, come on in. You're welcome. How are you? I'm alright. How's your mom? She's very good. Please make yourself comfortable. Ah, thank you, Mary. Uh, what up? Very much. And Maria, how's Maria? Uh, Maria's gone out with Sophia. They've gone to get something for her. Okay. They'll be back pretty soon. Alright. What can I help for you? Oh, uh, anything, but I'm good for now. You sure? Oh, here we are. Hi. Oh, hello. Hello, dear. Hi, Mom. Hi. Welcome. Hi. I'm fine. I'm fine. Hi. Oh, hi, daughter. <laughs> Good. Oh. How did it go? It went very well. Back in the hospital, right? Nima, Nima. I did not lie. I, I just couldn't remember the last time, so I just told him late last month. Who have you been sleeping with? Me. Who is responsible for your pregnancy? Hey. Hey. I'm not pregnant, though. Hey. 
That's coming. How are you? Is everything okay? Um, no. I mean, yes, Father. Father, what of Father Lanky? Oh, Father Lanky. Uh, he traveled out for further studies. It was announced in the church on Sunday that he will be traveling out the next day. Were you not in church on Sunday? No, Father. I wasn't in church. I, I was not feeling fine, so I, I couldn't come to church. Oh, sorry about that. God, you look sick. I hope everything is okay. Yes, Father. Um, um, what of Mrs. Okoye? I hope she's taking very good care of you. Yes, Father. She's fine. Um, Father, I, I have to take my leave now. Oh, Safira. I want to give you my word. I am here for you. Whatsoever you need, come. I will assist you. I want to assure you that the church will be praying for you. And our Holy Mother will intercede for you. Disappointed in me. But what do I do? I, I don't have anywhere to go to. Maybe I should go back and tell him what is happening to me. But tell him I'm pregnant for who? For Pete and I can't. But you called me. And you look for it. What's he happen? My coffee, my guy, no be small. Bro. But a mess more can slap for bust my head. If no be so sharp. What's it gonna happen now? 
Sophia is pregnant. What? Yes. But no one wants to enter her now. Only once, and I don't make any like all these Chineke girls there. Eh? I tell you, because their body fertilizer too much. In this multi way you put inside, bam, they don't catch. That eh? girl looks so decent. That's the problem now. That's the problem. As she decent it, I saw everything full. Fertilizer just the catch in here. Small thing we just drop. Nobody said drop everything inside. But you forgot yourself. I'm really surprised that you're the one who opened the door for me. What about Safira? I sent her packing. What? Why? She's a slut. And because she doesn't know who is responsible for her pregnancy. That means she's been sleeping around. Mom, this is so unfair. For God's sake, how can you do this to her? I'm out of here. Young lady, what's the matter? Come, how could we have help? You know, what happened? I'm homeless. Don't worry. I, I, I don't have anywhere to go. I could offer you mine, but tell me, what happened? It's a long story. A long, sad story. Okay then. Let me take you to my house. Yes. So then you tell me all about it. Okay? Okay, okay. Mom. It's okay. Thank you, Mom. Let's go. Safira, my daughter, I am very, very happy that at last you have been offered admission. To study your choice, of course. I thank God for that. My dear, you will be leaving for school tomorrow. So go and uh, conclude your arrangement for your registration. Please. And please again, my dear, always remember where you are coming from. Yes, Daddy, I will. Always. Okay. My daughter, remember the good moral upbringing we've given to you in this family. Please, my daughter, don't forget, you always tell me that you want to be like Mother Mary. I hope you've not forgotten mm -hmm. that. I will, Mama. And I have not forgotten what I said about Mother Mary. I promise to keep my word. We believe in you so much, so please make us proud, my I daughter. I will, I will. So, thank you, my daughter. I will. So, well, you can go to bed now, so that you know you are going to wake up early. 
I know. Please don't join any bad gang when you get there. Ah, Daddy, no. I, uh, God forbid. My daughter, please. I trust you. Please, okay? Because, Brad, huh? I believe in you and I know you will do well in school. Thank you, Mama. I will, I promise. Right. Mother and Mary will be with you. Amen. I do like that. Good night, Mom. All right, dear. Yeah. Take care, my daughter. I will. My wife. God has done it too. So we appreciate God. Yes, sir. Uh, appreciate God for everything. I know God will always do it. Everyone will be happy. Shut up! If I hear you, I don't have any money here. Yeah, please don't kill us. Please, please. What? What is that one saying? Now listen to me. Do you know why they call me Hedis? Because I can send you to hell at a blink. Please. Now, congrats! Please, please, I don't have any money here. Please. please. Me and Ish. As none more to detail. So get up and show us the money or I'll roll my ugly head. Please, please, you don't have any money. See this cast. I have very you can take it, please. 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 Okay! Please, please. Since you don't have money. Let me start. With your precious jewel. Mm -hmm. I don't have my blood. Oh. You. Stand up! Oh! Mama, Mama, please, 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 Hi, Shiferi. She's responding to treatment, but I think she will still snap out of her unconsciousness. What really happened to her? I think she was. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you getting better? What am I doing here? You're in the church clinic. You were brought in by the Reverend Father. Child, what really happened to you? We saw you lying helplessly in front of the church compound. My daughter, don't do it! <laughs> no, no, no! Please take it easy. Calm down. No! Calm down, please calm down. Please calm down, darling. I want to die! Why did you not let me die? Why? No, child. Don't say so. What's your name? And how can we get in touch with your parents? I just want to die. I just want to die. You have just let me die. No, stop sounding like this. God has a purpose for your life, okay? Father, I think I should leave now. But I'll come check up on her later. Okay, Doc. Thank you very much, Doc. All right. You'll be fine. It is well, my daughter. May our good Lord guide you. May He give you the strength to overcome all this. 
Go. Your years. Why are you crying? Stop crying. You should be happy you are out of the hospital now. No matter how the problem seems, just look up to him. He's the author and the finisher of your fate. I don't have any reason to leave. I don't have any reason at all to leave. Why should such evil befall me? Why? Why should such evil befall me? What evil are you talking about? I mean, we saw you lying helplessly, stained with blood. How can we get in touch with your parents? My parents? Oh, my parents. Why did I not go with you? What am I doing alone in this world? I should have gone with you. I should have just gone with you. I caused my parents' death. I should have just died with them. Life is meaningless. There is no reason to live. Wipe your tears, my dear. It's God that give it. He also take it when he pleases. What's your name, by the way? Safira. Wow, what a lovely name. Safira in Greek means jewel. And in Hebrew, it means beautiful. about me. There is absolutely nothing beautiful about me. Look at the way those robbers treated me. Like a piece of trash. You are no trash. Yes. Father, you are only trying to make me feel better. But I don't feel any better because I know the truth. It's okay. There is nothing to live for. It's okay. It's okay. All will be fine soon. By the way, do you have any relative? I have an uncle. But even my father avoided him when he was alive. Because my father says he's evil. He's not a good man. Anyway, we need to inform him. We need to inform him on the incident. And I will also want you to write down your house address so we could inform this case to the nearest police station. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. May our good Lord be with you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Your life will be beautiful and pleasant if you stick to your moral upbringing. But if you change, you will be a tale of doom. What are you talking about? Who are you?
Father, good afternoon. How are you, child? Fine, Father. Yeah, um, is Safira in? Yes, Father. Please tell her I want to see her. Okay, Father. All right. Thank you. Good day, Father. Oh, Safira, how are you? I'm fine, Father. But my sister Sharon said you want to see me. Yes, that's true. Please sit. How are you doing? Father, I'm not fine. I keep having nightmares almost every night. Don't worry, all will be fine. We've informed the police on this case and they're doing their job. It's so sorrowful your parents have been taken to the morgue. And um, I spoke to your uncle. From my look of things, you'll be traveling to the village for the burial ceremony very soon. I can't believe it. I cannot believe that my parents are gone for good. God, I, I miss them. I miss them so badly. Why your tears, daughter? We have good Lord see you through. Amen. Father, but you don't understand. You don't. You can never understand what it means to lose both parents at the same time. Your mother and your father gone on the same day. <sighs> Painful. Father, did I say anything wrong? No. If only you know how hard it has been for me. If only you know how hard it has been for me and what I went through. I have a similar experience, and in my own case, it was worst, very, very worst. Father, please, tell me about it. I was young and stupid. I lived a reckless life. I drink, smoke, womanize. Name it. I was a total nuisance to the society. My parents tried to talk me out of all of this. But I was adamant. I never listened to them. One day I got the house document. And I sold it. And when my father discovered I sold his only house, his only property, he developed heart attack. Oh. And while my mom was rushing him to the hospital, they both had an accident and they died. Oh. They died? Yes, they died. My whole life was shattered. It was so hard for me. All this happened due to my recklessness, my wrong way of living. <laughs> That's really, really sad. I lived with this guilt at each passing day. I see their images. In my heart, I feel them. <laughs> Until one day, one day when I met Christ, it changed my life, and I decided to dedicate my life to His service. Life is so cruel. So 
so so cruel, Father. I am, I am so sorry about your loss. When I throws you a lemon, you turn it to lemonade. Safira, I want you to cast your fears and worries onto the Lord. He will never forsake you. I will, Father. Thank you very much, Father, for your words of encouragement. Thank you. You're welcome, Safira. Safira has traveled to the village for appearance burial. I told her to talk to her uncle about taking care of her responsibility. Since the parents are no more. Yes, he should. The responsibility falls on him now. And he should take whatever comes in. Yes. Um, but Safira told me he was evil. That's why her parents avoided him. Uh, but she later succumbed if only he's ready to take care of a responsibility. I also told her to contact us in case she needs anything from us. Father Lanky, you did very, very well. Thank you, Father. It's good. Um, but I want you to go to our outstation to, to conduct morning mass tomorrow. Okay, Father. Before you leave, you will pick the letter with the secretary. All right, Father. So, let's uh, fly. Oh, Holy Mother of God, Despise not our prayer. Sapira, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, Father. When did you go back? Father, I'm just coming from the village now. So, how did the burial go? Father, we've done it. That one is over. So tell me, what did your uncle say about taking care of your responsibility? <sighs> My uncle said that I have to work in his farm for two years. And if the farm produce increases immensely, that is the only time he can help me with some things I have to do, like my school fees or anything. <coughs> and if he doesn't? Then there's nothing he can do. Or better still, he can help me get married to one of his friends as a second wife. Holy Mary! Don't worry. Don't lose hope, okay? Let me take you to the sister's lodge. I will inform the parish priest you're around. He has to say on your case. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Father. Yeah, let's go. That was how I lost my parents on the same day. And I also lost my virginity to others. Along the line, Mrs. Okoye came along when my uncle refused to train me in school. I lived with her. I was serving her. Then a guy that is their family friend started coming around me. He deceived me and I got pregnant for him. So Mrs. Okoye found out and started asking me who is responsible. I didn't tell her, so she drove me out of the house. But why didn't you tell her? Auntie, her daughter is dating this guy. I don't want to hurt her. She's a very nice person. She has been so nice to me. And besides, that Peter is not a good person. I don't want to have anything to do with him again. It's okay. It's okay. You're pregnant. That's why you look all sick. You've not been taking care of yourself. You know what? I'm going to take care of you and I'm going to give you something to take care of your baby too. Thank you, ma'am. God bless you. God bless you. You're welcome, my sweetheart. And again, <clears throat> you mentioned something about our training you in school. Did she fulfill her promise? 
And well, she actually bought me a jam phone. Just immediately after she got it, she discovered that I am pregnant. So maybe she would have fulfilled her promise, maybe. Never mind, my darling. Hmm? I'll see what I can do about your schooling. It's okay. Thank you. You know what now? I'll show you your room, but then first, hmm? you have to eat something so you can relax yourself. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right, sweet. Let me just get something done about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Get this. Three to go for the senator's hangout. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. They requested for you, girls. And um, I wouldn't want any complaint. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma and when I say no complaint, I mean none at all. No shaking, ma'am. Mm. I trust you, girls, anyways. <laughs> My poor table. Mm -hmm. You girls can make do with the jeep. Wow. wow. Thank you, Thank Mama. You. <laughs> oh shit again. We are girls. Nice she would always deliver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mama, I you know so we not go door you now. At all. At all. Okay. Thank you, Mama. Make sure to have fun, okay? Yes, okay. Mama. Alright, girls. Alright, see you later. See you girls. Those girls, I never mind. Have you taken your herbal medicine? Yes, Auntie, I have. I actually came to tell you that I have taken it. Okay, okay, sweetheart. Let's go and have a rest, okay? Cool. Oh, okay, Auntie. <laughs> So Peter, what's up that contract with those people? Who is that? Well, yesterday I saw him. Let me see. Uh, Maria. Hi. How are you? How are you doing? Fine. How are you doing? I'm alright. Just don't make yourself comfortable. Your friend, he said you're not doing well. Are you okay? I'm okay. Don't make yourself comfortable. Yeah. Oh, yes, I'm okay now. 
Guy men are almost melted when she said she was coming to see me today. Uh, and I had to rush out. I got to run from where I was hiding from. Man, I'm telling you. <laughs> I stopped the dodge now. Huh? Yeah, what's something? <laughs> ah! I said everything on cast. I'm telling you. I feel sorry for Safira. That poor girl, she's suffering just because of you. That stupid girl. That stupid girl that cannot control herself. How did she get pregnant? So she can't control herself. Huh? She can't even take good care of herself. Big girl, my ass. Peter, you aren't even repentant. For what? Don't worry. You'll be a dad, son. Me? <laughs> be a dad? So I don't deny TT. See, there's no way I will, I'm, I'm going to say I'm responsible for that pregnancy. I don't deny the picky, I don't deny the pregnancy since... <clears throat> you don't know what you're talking about. You're talking as if she can't prove it to you through a DNA test. DNA again? Yeah. DNA test. What? <laughs> who is going to give that poor girl money? Okay, let's forget about the money. How is she going to get my blood to run a DNA test? Hi. Me, we could live far from her. Huh? She will lose communication or nothing. She can't even see me again. I don't know what you're saying. This is your baby you're talking about. Your first child. Do you want to deny your blood? Coffee, hey, hey, see, let me tell you. And this should be the first and the last time I'll hear about this blood, pregnancy, or anything about that girl in this house. Please. I've told you. Hey, come here, I'll still give you beer and you're still talking about, about pregnancy. Are you the one that can't see beer drink again? brought her the time you did. She lost so much blood. She could have died if you had delayed. Oh my god. How could I do brought her in just in time? Who gave her the concussion she took? She almost bled to death. What? What concussion doctor? She's pregnant. And she took concussion in order to abort the baby. God. Who could have done this to her? She actually wanted to keep the baby. How is she now? She's fine. But she would have to stay with us here for a few more days to make sure she's okay. Then we can discharge her. And pregnancy? Were you able to care for the baby? She lost the baby. She had complications, and in order to save her life, we had to remove everything. What do you mean by remove everything? Is a destiny. Shut up, ever love again. After all of the shame and pain. 
Again and again you rise, but then you fall. Sometimes it's so difficult to get up. Sometimes you have to stay down, but you must get up and fall. Maybe the sun will be ready, and rescue me, Maybe someday a savior may come along. And me. your body? No, I'm fine. I just feel little pains. Don't worry. Very soon, you'll stop experiencing the pains. Okay, ma. Ma, what of my baby? Is the baby okay? <sighs> your baby. You lost the baby. And you also lost your Hello? All right. Okay, you know what? Please. Just take it easy, okay? All right then. Bye bye. <sighs> That's one of the girls. Ma, I'm not happy. I'm not happy I lost the baby. Oh my God. I'm wondering why I lost it. Down. You lost the baby due to, due to the stress you went through. You went through a lot, and you know that. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. Stop using ma for me, please. I want to know that you are very special to me, different from other girls. Okay? Okay, ma. Thank you, ma. Hmm? Ah, thank you, Auntie. <laughs> it's okay. Let me just let you be. So you take your rest. Hmm? I think you need some fresh air. Hmm? Okay. Alright, sweetheart. I'll see you. Okay, Auntie. <laughs> the help she gave me that that let me lose the baby. I'll get them over to you. All right. <laughs> See me too. Hello. Oh, 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 oh dear, dear. Chief. <laughs> 
Nice How to have you? you here. Yes. I'm fine. You are. <laughs> Thank you. Please have your seat. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, <laughs> Where is that beautiful damsel I saw sitting out there? Mm. Fair complexion. She's cute. Beautiful. Oh, she. That will be Safira. My special one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I would like to have her. Oh, Chief. Not now. No, 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 no. That's not what I mean. I mean, uh, I would like to take her on as a wife. You know, I've been a widower for a very long time now. And uh, you know very well that I'm going into politics. Very well, you too. Uh, definitely need a first lady. And uh, she's just there. No, 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 Chief. Flow it. No, no. Forget her. How? She does not even befit your status. Uh, why did you say that? She's not a graduate. Come on. That is no problem. I will train her in the university. Uh, after all, she's my wife to be. Uh, anyway, I will let her know you want to train her in school. Great. Do that. Um, but then I will not tell her you want to marry her. Yes. We'll just wait for her to graduate. Then I'll catch you line to marry you. You know, using your good deeds to make her consider you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well then, uh, just keep to your own part of the bargain mm -hmm. and uh, I'll keep to mine. Chief. Yes. The last time I checked, I have never disappointed. I will not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I fix you all. Mm -hmm. Chief, chief. Yeah. <laughs> don't give up, don't give up, don't give up, don't give up, don't give up. Hi, girls. <laughs> Hi, thank you. Um, this is Safira. She's a jam bite on our new roommate. Hmm. Roommate, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure I want another roommate too. Uh uh. I thought we discussed it now and you guys agreed that she should come. Please meet Kiki and Irene. I'm pleased to meet you girls. Hi. Um, show us some love. Hi. Let's okay, let's go. Let's go. Let me show you to your room. Please remove your leg. Oh God. Sorry. Come, babe. Which one be roommate again? Baby. Yeah. Come on now. What is it? Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Again. Yeah. Like you don't get tired. Oh, don't Please. worry, let, let me just let me just rest a little, okay? I'll still do two more. Okay? I'll do two. Know. Just calm down. I'll do I'll do two. Let me just reply this before. Baby, please no. See, I am ready to do more. Okay, let me just reply this. Huh? Just take off your clothes. Take off your clothes. Sorry. Take them off. Go and see what's at the door. Alright? Please. I know it will be coffee. Just tell him that he should go on and start rehearsing, okay? I'll meet them up later. Then you come back, so we'll do it before I take my bath, then I'll go and meet them. Okay.
And who are you looking for? And who are you? <laughs> I should be the one asking you that question. I mean, you walk up to my booth, please. You stand there asking me who I am. Who do you think I am? Did you just see me? Yes, your boo. boo in this house. Do you know who I am? I mean, do you know who I am? I don't care to know. You are talking about a boo. Hello, what boo? shut up. Will I'm just standing up? here. Did you just call me a thing? You are a thing. And if you don't shut up, I will shut that thing you call a mouth. Oh my God. You're standing in my boyfriend's house. You're what? And you're talking about boo. Oh my God. No, I want you to get out oh, of here. Oh, shut up. Will stop you shut up? Him? Shut up. Who do you think you are? You shut up. Oh my God. I will shut that thing you call a mouth. And you stop talking. Who do you think you are? Shut up. 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 Shut You won't see, right? So, you and her, this is what is going on now, Abby. Seriously? Huh? So you've been here enjoying yourself and having your fun. I don't it's, even know what I'm doing here. It's not what you think. Uh, uh, it's, just, it, it, it's not what you think. You see, Kemi here is just a backup singer to my group. That's what she is. Seriously? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, she assists the... the, the... Excuse me. Just shut up. I'm a, a what? A backup singer, that's what you are. You know what, you guys are really like my ear is this Seriously, stop it. Uh, uh, just, just stop it. Uh, just, just listen. You know listen. what? I will give you both space. You can have this thing. Seriously. Uh -huh. Like, you just called me did a thing. You, did you even see yourself? Shut I'm up! I'm talking about when you're doing She's it. just a thing. I don't have I'm anything to do with it. Don't touch me. You son of a sense. Oh, sweetheart, you don't understand. Like I said, she's just a bad oh, singer. Wait. She helped us to carry our, our, our costumes and the rest of it. He just called me a backup singer. I can't believe this. You son of a bitch. You're still the same lying bastard you've always been. Go to hell. You go to hell before me. Girls, are they are they troublesome? Um, Irene, Irene, Irene. Um, Irene loves her space. She does not like to be disturbed at all. Okay. And Kiki, she likes to hear people a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but you have nothing to worry about. They're very nice girls. Mm, hope she sure. won't hear me too much. Yeah. <laughs> hope, hope there's no complaint. Like no, 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 okay. no. Everything is fine. So far, so good. Okay. Mm. Um, let me go and shower. Okay, after you, I'll show. Oh, okay. Well, so good to be back. Yeah, so, um... So how was your holiday? Well, it was good. Fine, but I really missed school. I'm happy to be back to school. Yeah, me too. How was yours? School. Well, um, I'm so happy I'm in final year now. Hmm. How time flies. Just like yesterday, I was a jam bite. <laughs> and I'm happy you're doing a five-year course, so you have to be here with me the whole year. And um, Kiki and Irene, they are done now, so they won't be coming back. Uh, I don't think Kiki and Irene graduated. Um, they told me they have a problem. They have some carryovers to clear, so I think they have one, one more year to go. Are you serious? Oh. oh, look at me being so excited that they're not coming back. Those girls, they can give me a while sometimes. They get on my nerves, you know, sometimes though. But you know that it can be fun at times. Mm-hmm, at times. 
<laughs> well, uh, please, this room is so boring. I think I should just have a shower and stroll out. Yes, and I have to see my classmates. Oh, she just had a baby. Yeah, that's what I should do. Just Let me make sure shift. you buy me something. Okay? Buy what? You, what did you bring for me when you're You that brought an empty bag. Yeah, mine are better. How did I get an empty bag? Wait, this wait, is what I saw your hair. Who bought it for you? Something of two years ago. Wow. <laughs> Please, um, let me tell you what you buy for me. You buy for what? me shawarma. Please buy shawarma for you. I'll uh, buy corn uh, for you. <laughs> corn and beer. You see. See you. you. Let me go. take a shower and change my clothes. Okay, okay, okay. Oh man. Hold on. Of so much to lose and almost nothing to gain. Hard to understand. Things are not going according to plan. This is not the plan. This is not how it should be. Oh, is it meant to be? Especially when everything was working well. But suddenly, suddenly, it all goes to hell. So hey, hey. It Hi, took dear. you so long. Ah, oh, my dear. After trekking to my friend's house, I'm trekking back. I was so exhausted, I just went somewhere to get a drink, you know? Chill. Where's mine? <laughs> you already know this is yours, so why are you asking? How now? What's up? Man, Hi. I met this very annoying guy today. Hi! That guy is so lousy, I felt like slapping him. What does he look like? I didn't even look at him that much to tell what he looks like, but... His friend called him Chris. Whatever, I don't even really care. I think I know the Chris you're talking about. Mm. He's very loud mouthed. Very, very. Oh, the guy is in most case. Anyway, um, his friend was even trying to like tell him to calm down. Yeah, his friend is really cool, Sha. Nice, calm, gentleman, you know, handsome. I think and all of that. But I don't even do like so I send them, Sha. Whatever. That should be Richard. I think I know the guy you're talking about. Mm. His name is Richard. He's very decent. He's a very decent yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. He sounded really decent. Yeah. Is he a student of the school? Yeah. He's doing his master's here. Oh, okay. Nice. This one you're sounding like this. I hope you're not beginning to like it. Oh, please. Whatever. Now today I start to see fine boy. Alright, leave that in. I'm just saying, you know. So many girls have made advances at him, but he keeps turning them down. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. Maybe he's gay. Hmm. You're the one saying he's at least yes. anything. Me, I said what? I don't even know the guy. You didn't bring any snack, just the drink. Do it, not make sense. Look what snacks inside you. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it.
A life of suffering, pain and shame A life of so much to lose and almost nothing to gain Hard to understand, things are not going according to plan This is not the plan This is not how it should be Or is it meant to be Especially when everything was working well But suddenly, suddenly It all goes to hell So the question becomes For my diary. Your diary? Come on, like, like a second scheme to you. Why not they even allow people to touch I don't know. I kept it in this bag now. So now you can remember, right? Yeah, but why is it not there? You just came into this room now. I've not even done anything yet. I just removed my shoes. Relax, relax. Okay, let's look for it together. Please come. Oh, just cut out my bag. Calm down. Where else? Where else will it be now? Uh, we were with it now since I came in here. I've not done anything else. I just pulled my shoe and came to, to lay down here. I will not scatter my bag. I will, I'm not scattering it now. Did I scatter the bag? Uh -uh. Hey, where is this diary now? Check now. Come check. Check. What is this? Check that. Check that side. No. Check that side. I don't know where else to look for this this diary now. I don't know. I'm not catching your bag, I'll put it back for you. Better. <sighs> Maybe I should go back to that. You know the canteen? Yes, 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 yes. I think that's what I should do. Are you hey, sure? Let me just go home before someone takes it. Please be, be careful. I'm going to have to come and arrange my bag. Can you be nice for once? Nice. Of suffering, pain, and shame. Hi. 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 Um, I, I thought maybe you'd be looking for this. Oh my god. Yeah. Where did you get this? Um, at the campus restaurant. Um, you left it there. And I actually saw the address of your, your hostel. That to bring it to you. <sighs> did you read it? Um, no, no. Just, um, just had a little glance of what you wrote there. So you invaded my privacy. I know, I'm, I'm, I know what I'm doing. What? Richie! What? Damn. I can't believe you're telling me this. Is he a joke? Boy! <laughs> What's funny about it? Bro! You are falling in love! <laughs> you know, at the point I actually thought you were going to be a priest. Hey, come on! Be the priest, really. I, I, listen. <laughs> The truth is, I never knew I would be in love somewhere. Especially after what happened to my mom. My mom loved and trusted my dad. My dad killed her, wished death to her death, you know. I found never to be in love ever again. Because love would hurt Truly really sorry to hear that. But, come on. Have you spoken with her? Have you told her about this love thing? I'm not done that yet. It's simply like she has a problem. A love problem with trust issue. Do you understand? It's like someone broke her heart. So, what do you intend to do? I mean, I intend to be the hot dog. That looks like a good one. I mean, you try a different approach for once, yeah? But anyway, in this pursuit, I wish you the very best of luck. I'm with you all the way, Brother. Thanks, man. That's, that's, that's I wish you the very best of luck, but you need it. 
Sorry to uh, bump into you like this. Uh, it's cool, it's cool. Um, please, please, make yourself comfortable. Yeah, thanks, eh? You're welcome. Nice place you got here. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so, what can I offer you? Um, anything is fine. Anything? Yeah. Okay, then I'll get you a drink, because, as we all know, I can't cook. <laughs> Come on. Did you take what my friend said that you treat serious, really? It was just a joke. Well, but I'm sure that's your perception of me too. Just like your friend. No, 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 no. That, come on, that's my friend's perception, not mine. All right? I mean, we are different like that. All right? Okay. In that case, I'll get you food. All I right. hope. All right, great. I'm feeling hungry. All right. All right. I'll be back. All right. Cool. <sighs> To life. <laughs> mm. 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 So dear. Mm. Chief, Chief. Yeah. This one you are all happy today. Yes, I should be. <clears throat> How is my wife to be fairy? Oh, she's doing just good. God. <laughs> uh, she should be rounding up soon. Oh, yeah, she should. Yeah, so because. Uh, uh, have you told her that uh, she's gonna be my wife? Oh, Chief, not yet. Uh, come on, come on, because I don't want her uh, sleeping about with all these campus boys. Oh, no. She's a very decent girl. She wouldn't do anything like that. In fact, mm. as we speak, she doesn't have a boyfriend. Sure? <laughs> oh, you better see to that. I like that. <clears throat> Talking about not having a boyfriend. Mm. Are you saying she's still a virgin? <laughs> Tell me, because if he is, I will pay double. My chief! <laughs> you know nothing bad comes from me. <laughs> I understand. I know you really cannot swear for a woman virginity. Chief, yeah? chief. <laughs> Good. <laughs> mm. Mm. <clears throat> You're such a good cook. Oh, you enjoy the food, huh? Yeah. So I've proved your friend wrong, right? <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> uh, I was kidding, though. Yeah, it's okay. So I was, um, I was wondering, maybe, um, maybe later in the evening, you and I can just uh, go somewhere and hang out. Is that okay with you? But I, I don't know you that much. Okay, can oh. you tell me more about yourself? Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. That's um, that's fine. Um, so where, where do I start from? Anywhere. Okay. All right. Um. I'm listening. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. My my name is Richard. I know that. Yes, and um, I'm a guy, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. I was. Um. I'm an, um, I'm doing my master program in this school. Yes, and uh, I was born by my mother, but. Um, Unfortunately, she's she's late now. Oh, I'm yeah. so sorry. About that, what killed her? Love, love, love killed my mother. Love, love sent her to an early grave. My mom loved my dad so very well that she didn't care what my dad was doing. My dad was cheating her like with every woman. My dad was doing stuff. My mom came back and saw my dad with a lady and. My mom, my dad rather beat her so well. I mean, it's like a normal occurrence. My dad beat my mom black and blue, and there was this special occasion that it was so bad that we had to rush to the hospital. This same love, love has been very cruel to me. Love has 
dealt with me with a very, very bitter taste in my mouth. Yes. I'm so sorry. Um, so what happened when your mom got to the hospital? My mom bled and bled and so she bled to death. Oh my god. But what did they do to your father? Nothing. Nothing? My dad was so rich he had to pay his way through everything. He brought his oh way god. through all the judgments. And my mom just... Oh god. My mom oh just died god. like a chicken. So sad. Yeah. I'm so sorry. But yeah, that's that's okay. That's okay. That's not me. Because I'm not gonna give up on love. I'm not gonna give up on the thing that makes my mom special and special to my heart. So if you were, I'm, I'm not sure it happened. You know, I've vowed in my life never to love a woman ever again. Because the one woman I love died like a chicken. But with you, it's different. You know, I wake up in the morning with you in my head. I go to bed. I go to bed with you in my head at the same time. And that's why I'm here. So I'm in love with you. I know it's the wrong thing to say at this moment, but yes, I admit it. I'm, I'm in love with you. Richard, please, leave. What, have I said anything wrong to you? Have I done anything? Richard, please leave now. What have I, what have I said or don't? What have I said wrong to her? Is everything okay? <laughs> what is it? <gasps> Just want to be left alone. Okay. Are you okay? He said he loves me. I don't understand. Is that why you walked him out? Yes. Listen, I I'm so scared. I'm already falling in love with him. I don't want to get hurt anymore. Honey, I understand how you feel. You know what? Just follow your heart. Follow your heart, okay? The fact that Peter broke your heart doesn't mean that all the guys out there are the same. Who knows? He might just be the right guy for you. Please, you have to stop this. Please. You're hurting me. Seeing you cry makes me feel bad. Please. Please, please. You know, if you just only if you just follow me to church for once, just once, just commit everything to God's hands and I'm sure everything will work out well. Stop crying. Hey bro. 
been searching for you like all over everywhere. Uh, why did you switch off your phone? Look, Reese, I, I just want to be left alone for now, please. All right? It's me. It's Chris, man. You know, we've been all through all kinds of things. We've been too deep, we've been too thin. Come on, what's the problem? Chris, I, I, I understand that. But please, for now, I just want to be left alone. Okay, please. You know, this is very much unlike you, you know. Oh. Well, um, whatever the problem is, I just, I truly hope that we find a way to get through it. But anyway, um, it's a fear, isn't it? Well, let me take a leave of you. I think you have a very big mistake. Safira is always seen around Richard. Are they dating? I'm not sure. You know, Safira is not a Maybe they are probably friends. Uh-uh. Kiki, don't judge like that. You know, you never can tell who they had for for you. know. All I know is that even if Richie wants to have a relationship, he's definitely not that Safira of a girl. Eh? I mean, is it going to be? Is it you? Um, what is that? Do you have a problem with that? No. I see. At least if he spend his money, we'll spend it for him. Why are you talking? I thought my friend needs to betray me. Uh, am I mad? <laughs> okay. Let me show you this thing. What's that? The guy, that guy. Are you ready? You are ready. I need money. 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 I need Sonia will do that. You know, I usually come here to relax. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful place. Yeah. Very nice. I like this old math thing. Yeah, know. and the bamboo. I know. <laughs> I know. So tell me about you. I mean, your love life. Well, I don't even have one right now. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Apart from this, I've not had one in a very long time. The only one I tried having was disastrous. Tell me about it. Okay, I met this guy a few years ago. Okay. I thought I was in love with him, so I, I slept with him. Okay. And then, 
I found out it just wasn't what I thought he was, so I cut off the relationship. So what about the guy? What happened to him? Uh, uh, he only wanted to sleep with me. Hmm. I found out I was pregnant months later. And the woman I was staying with then threw me out. Threw you out? Why? Why would you do that? Anyway, uh, what about the baby? I lost the baby. Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry about it. Okay? Oh, That's your okay. The parents, where are they? My parents are late. I lost them to armed robbers on the same day. I'm so sorry about this, okay? I'm so sorry. Sincerely sorry. I'm so sorry. So sorry, okay? Don't worry, I'm here for you now, okay? Guess what? I'm gonna be your mom. I'll be your dad. At the same time. Mm. Everything. Mm. Alright. Well, you won't spank me, though, when I do something with you. Um, uh, I guess I will do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Leakage anymore. <laughs> so it's me you're calling water leakage. Thank yeah? God, you finally laughed. Finally made you laugh. What's wrong with you? What's wrong? Why are you crying? It's Mrs. Wally. I, I, I don't understand. She said I'm not allowed to be in any relationship. Meaning what? I don't know. I am not allowed to be in any relationship with anybody, not Richard, nobody at all. What is that even supposed to mean? But she does not have any right to say that. See, I'm sure she's just trying to protect you. And um, with time, she'll come to terms with it, okay? So just, just relax and everything will be fine soon. Okay? She, she should though. She should come to terms though because I don't know what she wants me to do. I can't even think about losing Richard. That, that one won't happen no. <laughs> well, what does she want me to do? You <laughs> love her girl. So that's why you're crying everywhere here. Yeah? That's not like anybody could just come in and see you. Hmm? Please come on. Ah, I don't understand you though. We should go into town to Richard for me. <laughs> love her girl. Don't worry. <laughs> Everything will be fine. Please stop doing that to yourself. Let's go inside. 
Now tell me you guys are getting set to leave. What else are we doing here? Oh, I made no danger you service by now. But you just finished your exams. I was thinking you still like a day or two before going. And who told you we are leaving now? I'm only cleaning my bag. We are leaving tomorrow. Are you, when are you leaving? Tomorrow or next? Tomorrow or next? Thank God at last. As in thank goodness, I'm finally leaving this school for good. And I'm sure I've made all my carryovers. Please. Me too. I can't wait to leave this place. Can't just wait. Sonia, what will you be doing at home? Why are we waiting for your service? Why do you ask? Sorry, yo. You know, I was just thinking to go spend some policy time with your bestie, Safira. You know you girls are quite close. Mm -hmm. I... I will be travelling to the US to be with my other sister. What? To the US? Your sister? And you never told us? Because you never asked. Well, I'm pretty sure you must have told your friend, Safira. Right? Have you? Of course, yes. She's my very close friend, as you all know. Some people get local. Mm. Babe, who you want to go join? And your grandfather won't go join. <laughs> then be ready to die because my father is late. Is it I would die for? <laughs> Anyways, I mean, you guess you change your mind. We're still around. Mm. Still around. Mm. But babe, I don't understand that girl. Does she expect us to still be in this school till now? <laughs> I dare even ask why I dodge him. You know, I jump him. As I was saying, I have yet to study with her. I know how far I want her to go. <laughs> oh. 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 Ah, good evening, Chief. Good evening, Nancy. Good evening, my... Oh, my darling. <laughs> how are you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> Why don't you just go in, put your bags down, and come join us here? Yeah, sure, I will, and see. How are you? I'm fine, sir. I'm a nice. Chief. Look at my beautiful bride. Mm -hmm. She's looking so good. I am really taking good care of her for you, you Chief. <laughs> oh, Chief. I'm so happy. You should be. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and uh, are we going to continue to do just water? Chief, I asked you what you would take. You told me nothing. No, I'm trying to. <laughs> My baby. It's been so long. Mm, I've missed you. I've missed you too. <laughs> How have you been? You look good. I've been alright. <laughs> what can I do? <clears throat> Our new graduate. Welcome home, my darling. Thank you, Auntie. Thank you. <laughs> auntie, I have another good news for you. Oh, ah, yeah. mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, okay, I'll wait and I'll tell you private. Why private? Huh? Chief here is part of us. Of course. <laughs> and uh, besides, I and Chief also have good news for you too. Yes, of course. Really? You do. Yes. Ah, okay, I'll share mine first. Okay. <laughs> Go on. Now. I am engaged. What? You stupid girl. I thought I told you to call off that relationship. And for your information, Chief here is your husband to be. What? Yes. That was the agreement I had with him. To train you in school and marry you after your graduation. And you had better start accepting that now. How can you make such agreements without my consent? How can I marry this 
old man. A man who is even older than my late father. How? How dare you? The same man that made you who you are, you better start accepting him as your husband. And I say over my dead body, it will not happen. <laughs> Chief. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Oh, well, hold it there. You see why his sister we should tell her earlier? I can't handle that. I can't handle that. You are still here. Moody and all full of thoughts. Listen, if you like, think from now till tomorrow. Even skip your meals. Yes, I'm not going to change a thing until you agree to mine. I should take that which is yours. Auntie, I am engaged to Richard. And I love him. It is only death that can separate us. And yes! Death! Somebody definitely is going to go down the grave. And that is not going to be you. <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? My dear, whatever I'm talking about is not what you should know. What you should watch out for is your fiancé's corpse being brought down to your foot. How? How are you going to do that? You won't do that. Okay. Watch me then. My dear, I know you just finished his master's a few months ago. And as you speak, he's in the UK. Oh yes. And I even know where he stays. How did you know all that? My dear, how I know about that is none of your business. Your business is about me bringing his corpse all shredded before you. No. No, you will not do that. Then the earlier you accept Chief's marriage proposal, the better for you. Yes. And see, I don't understand it. So you're willing to do all this so that I can marry Chief? All of this and much more. I will go further than this. The earlier. I agree to leave Richard. What's the guarantee that you will not help him? Why would I? When I already know he's no longer a threat to me. Well, I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. I. I have to marry Chief, but on one condition. In fact, two. The first one is 
I want a very low key wedding. Just me, him, and a witness. The second one is I want to be far away from him. So far away from everybody I know, including me. you, the woman I took as my sister. But instead, she sold me to an old man just because of me. My dear, I picked you only for the purpose of business. I am a businesswoman. I am not some so-called mother Christian. So that was what I planned to do all the time. Meanwhile, I was there thinking God had sent me an angel in this guy. Enough! I am not ready for all this stuff. Since you've already agreed to marry Chief, I think you should start by handing me over your sick Christ and the so-called trash engagement ring. Why would I give you this engagement ring? Was it you that bought it? Why would I give you my SIM card? Why? I don't want to contacting or communicating with you anymore. You know what? Fine. I will give you not only the SIM card, but even the phone. And then, this is the ring. Take it. Take all of them. I don't even want to see you anymore. You are a devil. You are wicked. You are heartless. I don't ever want to see you again in my life. I hate you. Nonsense. I am here in the city to count money, not to count bridges. Rubbish. It's not your fault. Hmm. She has finally agreed to your proposal. Oh, this is good <laughs> news. Wonderful. This is splendid. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. one thing. <sighs> she said she would like to go far away from here. Oh, that's no problem. <laughs> but it's no problem. Um, I will arrange for one of my apartments far away from here immediately. I trust you. Great. <laughs> my chief. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, you know what? Now that the year is hot, mm -hmm. I will chew it. <laughs> yes. And again, I will make sure she misses her period immediately. Chief, <laughs> take it easy. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll be taking it easy. My chief. Yeah. My darling, the most beautiful lady on earth. You know what? <laughs> yeah. And you leave me the happiest man on earth today by being my wife. <laughs> Don't touch me. Which wife? Which wife? Look at you. You think you maneuvered your way into my life by forcing me to be your wife. Let me tell you something. My heart belongs to someone else. My heart beats for him. Just know it now. The most important thing is that you married me and not him. And that makes him a loser. No. You are the one that is a loser. Because I will never ever see you as my husband. Never! My heart beats for him. I am only a girl that you forced to marry you because of money. Because you helped me when I was helpless. Now you want to you want to use that opportunity to cage me. No problem. I will never see you as my husband. Enough okay? of that. I am just a girl that you forced to marry you because she's helpless. Because of your money. That's the only reason I married you. Because you helped me through school and you're forcing me to marry you. I'm, I'm not marrying you for love. And you know it. Enough of that. It's time you perform your wifely duty. Come on. <laughs>
feel like a youth. I'm so happy. You think you have my body, right? No problem. You can have my body, but you will never have my heart. Never. I hate you. I hate you more each passing minute. Stop that nonsense, Sapira. Enough of it. I will not take it from you anymore. What will you do? You beat me. Is it not to beat me? Or you slap me? Or at most you will kill me? It's even better you kill me, sir, because I'd rather die than be your wife. Listen, let me tell you. The earlier you get used to the idea that you are now my wife, the better for you. What nonsense is this? I will never ever get used to the idea. Never. You will. I will not. You will. Never. Stop this. Leave me alone. Anyway, you will soon get used to it. You will. Oh, Chief, hi Safira. I hope you are enjoying already. Oh, you can say that again. <laughs> yes, I am. Safira is sweet. Mm. But I must tell you here that she's still bitter about the whole marriage. Mm. Yes. Never worry. She'll get over it. Ah, I, <laughs> I do hope so. <laughs> so, what do I offer you? Ah, uh, nothing for now. I'm just cool. Or do you prefer I call one of my girls to come and service you? Here you are again. <laughs> you are again. <laughs> that would have been a wonderful idea. Mm. Uh, but uh, for today, some other time. Mm. Chief, chief. Yes. Well, uh, I guess I must be on my way right now. <laughs> okay. Yes, I guess I got to leave. Chief, chief. Yes. You know you're my personal person. Very well, I know. And I'll always take care of you. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Um, so I just said. Um, yes. I'm <laughs> 
I want us to talk. Go on. It's been 18 months since we got married. And what is going on? You have not taken any. Nothing even a day you missed your period. I don't know what's going on. Why did I get married to you? I want you to give me kids. I'm beginning to wonder if you were into some kind of uh, family planning. And what do you mean by that? What I'm trying to tell you is Anyway, uh, I'll find out from the doctor. months I got married to my wife and she has not taken in not even a day she missed her period what are you doing family planning no no we have never done any family planning 
uh, except she did without my consent. Both of you would have to undergo a series of tests to ascertain what the problem is. That is no problem. Maybe someday a rescue may come. Maybe someday a savior may come along. And maybe. Oh, darling. What are you doing out here? I've been looking for you all over. What is the problem? Nothing. I'm fine. Good. Darling, come on out, our son is back. I need to get to sleep right now. 
back in a bit. Oh, come on, then, child. You've just arrived. No, we have You have not even eaten. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I know that. No, but it's very tempting. I'll be back in a bit. Trust me, I'll be fine. Right? Well, if you insist, yeah. I promise you won't keep late. Right, Dad, come on, we're back. I'm not going to keep Daddy. Come on. Just the phone, you know. Ah, you change. You guys are to my master, and I'm right now. Oh! <laughs> to stay down, but you must get up and fight. Maybe someday a rescue may come. Okay. Maybe someday a savior may come along and make. Very long day today. We would love to just talk to one morning, okay? Please. I guess we must go to bed. Yeah, thanks. By the way, how's your wife? Oh, she's fast asleep. Okay. Hey, Dad. What's up? Good morning. morning. <laughs> Fine money. <laughs> Dad, oh, I perceive something from the kitchen. Oh, 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 hold on. Don't tell me your wife is up this early to prepare breakfast. She's a perfect African woman. Wow. She does this every morning. Really, the best woman on earth. Well, that explains <laughs> your freshness, huh? Ah, you can't say that again. <laughs> That's sorry, I left my phone upstairs. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. Ah. Hmm. Darling, where is my coffee? each other before? Tell me what is going on? Richard, talk to me. Have you met each other so Dad! Before? You know what? I want to be left alone, please. Please. Not until 
I know what I need to know. Talk to me. Richie. Richie, don't just ignore me. Talk to me. Richie. The street rats that she is. Oh, Richard, how can you talk like that, please? You're frightening me. Tears. That's what you do, tears, right? The same tears that tricks me into loving you. I thought you were innocent. But you know what? A sloth will always remain a sloth! <laughs> Richard, I am not a harlot. I am not a slut. I am just a victim of circumstance. Victim of circumstance? Really? Is that what you call your situation? Victim of circumstance? The same thing you said when those guys raped you. Uh, the same thing you said when <laughs> Peter got you pregnant. The same damn thing you said when you ended up in the house of those harlots. Why the lies? Why the lies? But guess what? I, Richard, would never forgive you for hurting me this much. It's so bad. And to think that I got back into the country and the first call was to call you, your phone was switched off, and not to come and find you in the home of my biological father. I am very, very, very sorry. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Right now, you know that, right? I can fight for you right now! But guess what? I hope you enjoy your stay in this worthless house because trust me, I will make your life unbearable in this house! I will ask you! My friend, I've been telling you about. Okay. Oh, hi. Hi, Richard. I'm Clara. Oh, yeah. What a nice name for a nice smile. Wow. But yeah. <laughs> Look at you, man. <laughs> Unbelievable, <laughs> man. Come on. Bro, what's up? When did you return, man? Two weeks ago. Yeah. Great stuff, man. Come on, man. How about our sweet Safira, man? Yeah? I haven't forgotten all those promises you made to her, you know? And I hope you plan on keeping them. I wish she kept half of the promise she made to me myself. What do you mean by that? She messed me, she messed me up. She messed everything. She messed my plans, my dreams. She messed everything about me. 
Really? And I'm thinking to myself, can I love again? Can I? I mean, I mean, what happened? What did she do? Can you imagine that low-life girl married my father? What? Yes! Safira? No, 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 not the Safira I knew. That's, that's unbelievable. But, I mean, you're telling me that Safira actually accepted marriage proposal from your father just like that? That's incredible. But why, why would she do that? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't. Come on, darling. She must have a tight reason. Tight reason? Like that. Tight reason? Tight reason indeed. What other reason could it be apart from the money? Exactly. That's not true. We all have problems. And when you listen to people's problems, we well, accept it as fake. And remember you told me she was living with a prostitute yes. and attended your school, right? Yes, yes. Now, do you know if your dad actually paid her school fees when someone wanted her as his wife? You know these days, nothing is free for men. So, so don't talk like that. She, she has a point there. Maybe, just maybe Miss Wally betrayed her with my father. You know, I mean, it's not beginning to make sense to me. Yes. So, you know what you do? Just try to see her and hear her own side of the story. That's going to be the best. Okay? I mean, because it's just, it's just starting to make sense now to me. Yes, yes I, I think so. It's quite pathetic, you know? It's really pathetic. But, I mean, bro, it has happened, you know? Still unbelievable, but it has happened. But, I'm sure... You know what about me? Come on, let's go in man. Bro, we've not seen for ages, I man. I know! Come on, we'll talk about women later. I, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Come on, let's go. It's so tempting to stay down, but you must get up and fight. Maybe someday a rescue. Where is that slot? Where is the slot? Where is the hall? Where is she? What is it? Richie. Why didn't she tell me that she lost her own to a series of abortions she did years back? Oh my God. She and her madame deceived me. Oh my God. God. Richie. My wife has no womb. Safira has no womb and she never told me. How do I handle this? How do I handle this? What did you say? What are you talking about? Handle what? Dad, ne 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 never mind. Never mind, sir. Rich, you know what? Make sure she pack all her belongings and get out of this house before I return. Hey, stop it. Just stop it there. Oh, so you know all along that she has no womb. Oh, you deceived me. Calm down, Chief. Calm down? How can I calm down? Why didn't you tell me she had no womb when I offered to marry her? I even paid her school fees. I never knew you wanted more kids. Oh. And besides, she doesn't even know she has no womb. Oh, so you took her for the abortion? I did not take her for an abortion. I met her. She was pregnant and deserted. I only helped her and I wanted to use her as one of my girls. Then I gave her a concussion to take. Then she got complications on her blood seriously. The doctor had to remove her womb just so to save her life. Then out of guilt, I decided not to use her for full prostitution, but to service my special customers. Then and then you showed up when she was just recuperating. And then you showed your interest. Oh my God. You have told me. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, Chief. How could I have known you wanted more kids? Well, we've been married for one and a half years now, and uh, still she shows resentment. I think she has better go. After all, she give me a baby. Chief, calm down. Calm down now. <sighs> I won't calm down. She has to go. Chief. Oh my God. <gasps> Jesus. There's no points to anything now. It's game over. She, she can't conceive anymore. She lost the womb. What? She's... What you just said. Rich. I don't know, I can't. I really can't explain this. But Chris. I love her. Yes. I love this girl. Are you mad? You lost your senses. Never mind. Come. Let me explain the meaning of what you just said. This girl has no womb. I seen she has no womb. She can't bear any child for the rest of her life. A sense of marriage without a child. Do you get that into your head? What is the essence of marriage without a child? Come on, babe. Don't bring children before love. Because she's the bearer. I should be loved first. Remember, God works in a miraculous way. So don't talk like that. Anything. I think I should just end it all. The time to end it is now. What am I leaving for? Yes, this is the time to end it all. Once and for all. Yes, I'll end it now. So much to lose and almost nothing to gain. 
hard to understand Things are not going according to plan This is not the plan This is not how it should be Or is it meant to be Especially when everything was working well But suddenly It's a good thing you brought her at the time you did. If not, she wouldn't have made it. Wow. Anyway, we've succeeded in removing the poison in her body system. Okay, um, so um, can I get to see her now, please? Yeah. our love go. I did it for you. They had all your information. They wanted to kill you if I did not marry Chief. Your business is about me bringing his corpse all shredded for you. No, you will not do that. Then the earlier you accept Chief's marriage proposal, the better for you. Yes. And see, I don't understand it. So you're willing to do all this so that I can marry Chief? All of this and much more. I will go further than this. Mrs. Wally, the woman who picked me up. I did not know that she'd had a deal with Chief to train me in school and marry me afterwards. It's okay. It's okay now, alright? I'm here. Richard, we cannot be together like your father said, I don't have a womb, I just discovered it myself, I'm sure it was taken out when I, when I lost the baby. Mrs. Wally gave me a concoction to drink. She told me it would help me feel better. I did not know she intended to abort the baby. I know. I know you hate me now. No. No, 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 I, I, I don't. Look, I have decided to stick with love. Hate is too much burden to bear. Love does not end the way it begins. Love is a battle. I and I'm willing to fight the battle. I will fight it in the last drop of my blood. Please believe me. Look, 
I know you're tired right now. I need to rest. Okay? Just rest. Don't say a word. Just, just rest. Don't say a word. Okay? I heard you traveled abroad to further your studies. Yes, I just got back a few months ago. Safira, God has heard you cry for help. Go back to the one who truly loves you. Father, going back to him will be so selfish of me. I am nothing but an empty barrel. Of whose report shall you believe? The doctor or God's report? Father, how did you know this? I, I didn't tell you any of this. I'm only passing God's message to you. You shall be fruitful and you shall multiply. That is God's message to you. Go.
But now when my eyes so bleak The future may appear so bleak But hold on, be strong Don't give up, don't give up, don't give up Hold on, hold on, be strong Don't give up, don't give up, don't give up Don't give up Don't give up Ooh. Can a broken heart be mended? Can a life of sorrow be ended? Can a shattered heart ever love again? After all of the shame of hell Only true love can heal again Only true love can forgive again Only true love can restore again Set things right Only true love can make things right